Hi, my name is Lita Kim, and today we're listening to Chinese music because we'll be talking about the monumental installation, A Book from the Sky by Zhu Bing. Zhu Bing was born in Sichuan province in 1955. At this time, Mao Zedong was a leader of the Chinese Communist Party, as well as the chairman of the People's Republic of China, leading China's communist revolution. Zhao was a Chinese Marxist theorist, soldier, and a statesman. This meant that Zhu Bing was living through the Cultural Revolution, an attempt for Mao Zedong to reassert his authority over the Chinese government, as he believed that they were headed in the wrong direction. Mao was disapproving of impure elements of Chinese society and wanted to revive the cultural spirit. This meant lots and lots of propaganda. Everything was about the state. Zhu Bing was naturally very talented at writing and calligraphy. This talent led him to being sent off to the countryside as a child to work on banners by hand, trained in the art of propaganda just like any other artist at the time. This is an example of the artworks that were created, not necessarily by Zhu Bing. Surprisingly, Bing did not create this work during Mao's lifetime, but rather after his death, during China's influx of Western cultural influences, writing, music, and history. This artwork at first glance may look like a handwritten Chinese characters. However, there are thousands of fake characters invented by Zhu Bing, carved into wood and printed onto paper using a movable type system, a system of printing that uses movable components to reproduce the elements in writing. The funny thing is Mao Zedong actually considered woodblock printed text as the most non-elitist form of art, which is actually kind of what the artist was going for. Kind of like this. Bing created an undetectable, meaningless characters to make the audience question our faith in written word and the authority of a book. From his experience, he realized that language is manipulated and abused by those in power, and this symbolizes that and speaks to our need to communicate and the dangers of distorting and eliminating intended meaning. To Bing, writing is the essence of Chinese culture and is tied with both authority and morality. In earlier Chinese artworks, landscape with hints of propaganda was very common and accepted. Zhu Bing uses the space provided using long sheets of fake calligraphy to form a landscape, with the hand-bound books acting as waves, the sheets hanging from the ceiling acting as a sky, and the wall hangings as part of the landscape. The panels hanging on the wall may also be representative of propagandic posters and banners Zhu Bing would see around him as a child. When first released to the public, many reacted negatively, calling it boring, traditional, and too academic. Either way, the 1988 exhibition of the book at the China Art Gallery attracted many people, including not only artists, but also professors, editors, and writers, some of whom visited the exhibition repeatedly in an attempt to find a single real Chinese character, which by the way, none of them were. Later critics reviewed the work more positively, it was soon realized that the work was a radical challenge to how we think about language, writing, literacy, and human relationship, meant to expose the fact that Chinese literary culture is boring or tedious, according to Zhu Bing. Like many abstract works, A Book from the Sky is meant to provoke a question in the audience. Unlike other installations and exhibits, he uses a traditional Chinese style to fill the space in a way that represents landscape. Travelers Among Mountains and Streams by Fan Quan also shares the calligraphy and landscape concept like a book from the sky, but in very different ways. Fan Quan's painting is representative of a peaceful landscape with mainly Taoist values and beliefs, rebuilding Confucian ethics using Buddhist and Taoist metaphysics. Neo-Confucianism was a reinterpretation of Chinese moral philosophy symbolizing peace and morality while A Book from the Sky is basically a clapback at Mao Zedong and propagandic art using Chinese calligraphy as a symbol of, the, symbol of the manipulation of words. Both arts use Chinese calligraphy to offer a sense of authority and morality. And now it's quiz time. So I'm just gonna give like three seconds on each thing and you can pause it. 